Welcome back to Soda City Living. It's time to check in with MUSC Health Columbia. Today we're visiting the Vein Clinic. You'll meet a cardiologist and venous disease specialist who explains what the Vein Clinic does and how education plays a part in her team's mission. Here's more. I am Dr. Norma Curry. I'm a cardiologist at MUSC Health and Vascular and have a specialty in venous disease as well. I um, trained at MUSC for medical school and for my internship and residency and then went to University of Mississippi for my fellowship in cardiology. And as cardiologists, we're always working on the arterial side and we're catheter based and doing our procedures. And along the way, about a decade ago, um, I got introduced to the vein world, and so now I'm a blue blood, as I would call it, because it's a vein world. And I got very interested. I'd never really kind of finished that whole circulation system with the venous system, and felt that um, I was really needed to learn more, and I wanted to give more to my patients, because I see patients with swollen legs all the time. At MUSC Vein Clinic, we offer comprehensive care for the whole spectrum of venous disease which includes spider veins, to varicose veins, swelling in the leg, even to ulcers. Sometimes people's symptoms can vary from just heavy, aching legs to swollen legs. Spider veins, some of the symptoms may be itching. They're tired at the end of the day, they can't finish their activities with their kids or work because their legs feel so fatigued and heavy. Some people have cramps, they have restless leg syndrome, tingling, there's a whole spectrum of symptoms associated with it. Sometimes they really don't know um, all the signs and symptoms because if someone's got big ropey veins they know there's a problem or big swollen legs but venous disease is very unrecognized it affects 30 million people maybe six percent actually get screened and less than one percent get treated so part of what we try and do is get out in the community and educate people because they don't even know the symptoms that they're having is related to venous disease they think the swelling may be due to old age the discoloration may be due to something else Having varicose veins is normal, and some people have even like a neuropathy, which they think may be related to another problem. So it really covers a myriad of signs and symptoms. Genetics plays a big role. So if you have a family history, then you're predisposed. So if one family member has it, your chance of having it's about 50%. If two, it goes up to 90%. So family history is really one of the biggest factors. Another one is for women, it's hormones and childbearing. And then it's what one does when it's occupation, one who stands for prolonged periods of time, is that station, it's being stationary, or sits for prolonged periods of time, and that's from construction workers, to truck drivers, to teachers, to cosmetologists, to nurses, to doctors, people who just don't move a lot. They're more prone to um, venous disease. Also, people who are overweight are more prone to it. People who have previous CVT, deep vein thrombosis, or more prone to it. Any symptom that you have related to your legs hurting to feel heavy and tired, or also knowing your family history, just get checked and get looked at. Because it's a chronic disease, which means it's going to progress over time. So the sooner one gets recognized for having the disease, the sooner we can get you on an educational plan, an awareness plan, maybe to prevent some of the triggers for getting it to be advanced. When you see someone go from swelling in their legs to ulcers, we would love to be able to reach these people before that mm -hmm. and get them treated so they never go on to develop some of the chronic problems and ulcers. So when someone comes in, what we go through at the clinic and is to first do a good history and physical with them. And then the key screening process is an ultrasound. It is a special ultrasound to look for vein reflux. That is where our diagnosis comes in. And once we have that, we make a plan particular to that patient based on their symptoms where they are in their life, what their ultrasound finding shows, and help um, have a plan for the next three months or a year. We offer everything from treating the spider veins, which are those little blue veins on your legs, to treating the varicose veins, and we treat with all modalities throughout there. We have the heat method, which we call thermal, and I use radio frequency ablation. And then we have the non-heat or non-thermal modalities to treat the varicose veins in smaller segments. And we use a um, chemical called polydocanol of erythina. And then we also use an adhesive for the larger veins called venous seal. Sometimes we offer phlebectomy if it's needed. 
and also we work in conjunction with some of my other partners in the hospital for some of the deep vein procedures in case someone would need a stent. The beauty of the venous world right now is things are done in an outpatient setting. You walk in, you walk out. There's value, it's about the only sedation that I give. You go about your activities that day. We want you up walking around. You're perhaps limited the day of the procedure, but you get back to your normal activities within a week. The one thing I love is that I can impact people's lives dramatically with this. People feel better once you get their legs feeling better. And some of them, not everyone, but some, they come back on their you know, follow-up in a week or three days and they go, my legs already feel better and they look better. And so that's very rewarding. And um, for those that have chronic disease, you help manage it. People that have chronic diseases that are in the wound clinic and have ulcers, they struggle with depression because their life is really limited and they don't feel good and this is a six month or a year journey. And if you can help impact their life and get their quality of life better, then that's, I find that very rewarding. I like working for MUSC because we've got a large network of excellence, research, and dedicated physicians um, behind us to help us to grow every program that we have and to give us what we need to improve the quality of care for patients.